Oh God. Welcome back, everybody, to back. Blades in the we Dark, were, episode 16, up, part two. Uh, the appropriate time after the break. We just um, created the best. We game kind idea of just talked for. We ended up like waiting for a good time, and then we discovered the greatest discovery of this generation, which was a legislative role playing game, which sounds incredibly boring. Would it be um, weird that I want to market really it hard. as incredibly boring when it's not? Yeah, no, only interesting to four people. Four people that are both political science nerds and role-playing game nerds. Those four people that fall in both that Venn diagram is very small. And yeah, it's basically a figure eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Yep. So you guys are going to meet with the Vultures to discuss a uh, joint venture together. Yeah. A social oh, shipments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be a me an in-group meme now? Ostrich fuel? <laughs> oh, no, no. Now that you said it, it is. I, so I it is a, it's, we're, so we're doing a score. This to yeah, Meeting with him and getting this nailed down is a score, yes. So, so if we're doing a score, we should clarify what we're trying to, what are, what are we trying to get? You are, I believe, trying to get them to, to join join you basically yeah like or... a merger essentially yeah, yeah. Mergers merge. and acquisitions yeah, yeah. and yeah. they're going to be trying to retain as much independence as possible i do if, if they win they'll just i mean they could just reject it like no get out of here yeah. um yeah but there's there's yeah there's gonna be there's a varied scale between perfect merger where they are one they all bow to you and say tell please order us around by lords <laughs> they bow to us with sandwiches held aloft yes <laughs> <laughs> or total opposite end they um, they just say no well say i mean no. the worst it could go is they attack you but that would only happen well, that doesn't happen. happen during the score yeah they can say no with knives. They That's could say no with right. knives, basically, yes. Yeah, that is an option. The only time they would probably attack back is if they are attacking back, if you yeah. if someone else starts something. Yeah. They can what say no with to... knives. They can violently reject our offer, but the worst that can happen is they reject our offer in some form. Yeah. As a social score, the detail is the social connection. Which I think oh, that's you. Pretty obvious? That's Adric. Mm -hmm. Adric yes. is the connection. Adric or Tiz, yeah. Adric long-term project to set yeah. it up. Yeah. So do we want to just um, run right into this and start that engagement role? Well, I mean, let's figure out who can help us. <laughs> I, 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 I would suggest bringing Lydra with us this time. Deal broker? Yeah. yeah. We bring our... What, what is her name? What is it called? We bring our notary. We bring our notary to the meeting. <laughs> that is a bold move. By the way, wait, yeah. to bring our thugs too, right? listen, we'd like to do a job with you. Here's the contract. I've already signed it for you, just in case. <laughs> but that's so presumptuous to bring our notary and then say, How would you all feel about joining us? Having the notary there is is that extra step if we've decided you're doing this. Well, yeah, why just are handing just out the blue backs and just be sign here? Just sign the paper. Yeah. <laughs> listen, you don't even need to read it. There's a little X right where you need to sign. You just have to tick the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I so think, actually, yeah, you know what? Forget the contract. The... Ghost contract. You just shake our hand, and then you agree to the thing. Yeah. But you're gonna do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're bringing Lyra, your deal broker. Mm -hmm. I think we have to pay her. Don't we have to pay her? We can pay her. It is her I profession. Mean, we can give her a piece of the score basically yeah give her a cut that's probably what her normal thing is actually is yeah she yeah, takes like, a cut you know as, as mergers go sometimes we have to liquidate some of their assets because we already have those assets and it's not good to have like double up yeah yeah, yeah we're all about streamlining and eliminating redundancies mm -hmm. you know <laughs> if they have a costume crusader i will take precedent over their costume crusader but the Costume Crusader can still join right. at a lower position. Yeah. Right. As, a, as an intern at first. Um, yeah, as a Costume Crusader, but one who has to wear tights. <laughs> it's a step below standard Costume Crusader. Yeah. Tight, so that's tight, why wheel, yeah. tight yeah. wheel, tight, oh, uh, assistant donning tights is right below Costume Crusader. Yeah. <laughs> 
And you're not allowed to have any trademarked anything when you're in this position, no. right? Like no logos, no catchphrases, nothing. They no. are, but they fall <laughs> under the... Now you can have logos and catchphrases, but they fall under the jurisdiction of the costume creator's stuff. Of It is Batman and Robin, not Robin by itself. So... Uh, so so we retain all intellectual property rights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I don't even get this job done at, at this rate, <laughs> this session. Um, what else do we want to just start looking at the? Uh, here we go. Engagement roll. Yeah, I think we've done all we can, really. Mm -hmm. Like just bringing the friend gives us an extra die. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Hicks is going to have a light load. Yep. Choose your loadout. Yep. I am also going light because if we have to fight shit it really went bad <laughs> yeah fighting is the I'm last option normal, here. just in case something messes up and i don't like light load unless i have to okay Graham. Yeah, I'm, I'm going normal as well because oh. because there's a bunch of things on here that aren't weapons that can be useful <laughs> also true uh <laughs> it's just the, it's just for the look that hicks is going yeah. for light load so he doesn't look like he's ready for anything uh, yeah, I'll go normal too. You've convinced me. Yeah, you got. You look like a scoundrel. They know you're scoundrels already. I don't, yeah, normal we're scoundrels. Scoundrel. Yeah, Hicks is just not. Also, as the does anyone else have two in their stash? Uh, two full bars. Oh, like two, no, no. I have two I'm, full I'm, bars. So no Hicks way. is like the nicest looking as far as like dressed and drooped at this point. I think By... you're the only one who hasn't taken anything from their stash. Yeah, now. I haven't. Yeah. Okay. So I, by actual nicer clothes, Hicks just looks nicer at this point. He's just slowly been gaining this whole time. In yeah, you could afford order. to like you. You brought your clothes to a dry cleaner. Yeah, I, I have cleaned my clothes this week. <laughs> okay. So engagement roll, one yeah. die for sure luck. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? No. Nope. I would say no. It's not overly complex either. Correct. Does it expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? Yes, yes because of the will. demons thing. <laughs> oh, demons true. Where they're weakest. Yes. Uh, well, it's a vulnerability. I wouldn't say it's where they're weakest, but it's definitely vulnerability. Yeah. yeah. Um, are they strong against supposed to have particularly uh, or have particular defenses or special preparations? No. Uh, do, do any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? Yes. Lyra. Are any enemies or rivals interfering in the operation? Yes. And we're a higher tier. Plus or minus dice, depending on other stuff, and you are a higher tier. I'm thinking, I think because I mentioned before, that's a requirement to even get this on the table. I'm going to go with, you are a higher tier, but this time I think if you were, in, okay. if you were like tier three, then that would be a plus one. Because uh, okay. you're a much higher tier. But if you're just one tier higher, I think it's a, in this case, base requirement for this to work. So two dice. Whose turn is it to make the roll? Jordan, I think you were last time. I did it last time. I think, I think this one might be mine. Yeah. 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 It's, it's your score, job. so yeah. Yep. Yeah. Also true. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so this is just fortune roll? This is a fortune um, roll. I don't think there's engagement page, and there's a roll engagement button. Ooh. It's underneath the uh, layer stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's right under sales territory. Roll engagement. Beautiful. Thank you. Two dice. That's five. Okay. It's not bad. Yes, it is. Um, also, just a sec. My sound settings are wrong for myself. Non-Discord stuff was coming out of my speakers instead of my headset. Okay. So... Who would be messing with us is the question. Well, if when you get on the boat, everything's fine. Um, you are led, and as you are so, pulling up... Hmm? I'm just kind of getting a handle of how many of us there are. There's us four. There's Lyra... <laughs> And then they hand, wanted our crew too. Our and a our hand uh, full of goons. So there's maybe yeah. ten of us in our party. Yeah. We okay. We have a lot of goons at this point. Well, let Do me check. Uh, there is a general for magnitude. Here we go. At <laughs> tier two, you have a medium gang of twelve people. We didn't bring all of them. And we definitely did it, not. Bring it, the I was about to say you, you you shouldn't bring all of them. 
because yeah. then that would it's leave your entire place under ten. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple. So yeah, about ten. There's a couple of them watching the scientists too. True. So yeah, let's yeah. say there's ten of you in total. Then five of the of the gang. Yeah. We bring okay. the uh, we bring Henner. Yeah, we bring the, like the he's the main guy for yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the voice, <laughs> the voice, the voice acted named character of our yeah. perfect. <laughs> Yes, the mouth of the morning shift. Exactly. <laughs> um, when you arrive, you see there is. I, I think you're asking. This is like normal. Uh, they they like blindfold you um, as they are, sh so that you don't see the like secret smuggling tunnels and stuff like that. Um, is it a tunnel or is it on not the a tunnel? Water? But like there's there's smuggling routes basically. Oh, my bird sees it all. They don't know that. I don't know that. <laughs> nope. Um, and when you arrive uh, at the shore, this is the first time I think we've seen the Lost District in, in game. Because this is where they're meeting. Like, cool. in the Lost District outside of Duskwell. Out, outside oh. the fence. Yes. Outside the fence. Cool. This is so cool. There are oh, parks there. Yeah. The Lost I District ammo, so we're good. is, it's like if you took Six Towers' decrepit thing, removed the nobility aspect, and gave it another few centuries. It's just, it, it is post-apocalyptic, it looks like. Like a, a district that's just many collapsed houses, several houses that look like they should have collapsed long ago. Um, it is slightly more spread out, actually, and fewer tall buildings in this district um and but everything is just covered in this like gray ruinic uh like like ruining dust and uh as the wind sort of blows through each like through the district um it almost seems to whisper as it passes through the alleys and houses um, lots of creaks and whispers, and it seems like there very much could be things or people here. There's definitely another group of people. I would say probably also about the same amount of you as you guys, about ten of them, um, waiting next to, uh, on, on the shore. Um, the boat, it's, uh, probably just a few... Um, like as quiet as it can be, running electric boats or, or steamboats, small boats, a, a, like a small powered boat. I don't know how early motor. Maybe they just row it. But you guys pull yeah, up. Rowing, rowing is an easy, timeless technology. Yeah, um, you guys pull up on the couple boats that you're in with the vultures. Uh, just a couple of them are here. You have been told that to expect more. Um. And Tiz is the name of the guy. He looks not alarmed, but a bit confused as he pulls up. He says, "What?" He calls out to the other group of people who are clearly not one of the, some of the vultures, but they don't look. They they are armed, but not ready to fight. Don't seem hostile. And he says, What are the silver nails doing here? And, uh, one of the people call out from the silver nails. Says, We heard you were looking for protection. We thought we'd offer our services instead. The silver nails are all... I, there's no way you guys wouldn't have heard of them even in character. We have heard of them, like, in game. We yeah. have mentioned yeah. them before in game. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they are um, ghost hunting mercenaries who are renowned. They they fought for the empire in the Unity War, um, and they are all of them uh, well armed and armored. And. Uh, just gonna put another clock here. Yeah. So when on Hicks hears that guy, not uh, what's his name, Tiz. Tiz is Tiz the guy you're with. Like, yeah. 
who who invited the Silver Nails, I yeah. immediately throw it back to him. It appears you have a leak in your organization, Tiz. Or you and yours, he says. The Silver Nails like to keep their ears out for everything. We, I think, um, were you saying that especially quietly, or is it good for the Silver Nails to respond to that? It's good for them to respond. Okay. So yeah, I'll just like say it out loud to the group. Um, the guy who walks forward is, despite the apocalyptic, like yeah, apocalyptic environment, he looks, um, traditionally handsome. Basically, he he, he looks like he has a, a, a looks. Like he would have a high charisma if he was a D and D character. He, he he has like, um, not the don't send out the bard. He has a butt chin and like the, the chiseled jaw and then like the five o'clock shadow beard that apparently always exactly that like yeah, that's exactly what he has. He he says um, he walks forward towards uh, his and he he says Tuhan, at your service. He looks at all of you, and a glint of something in his eyes as he, he glances at all of you. And he says, T-t-tis, and I'm sure that we can offer better protective services than this union of civilians. You know, I've killed a demon myself. Do you guys want to respond before Tiz does? Um... When he says he's killed a demon, I point at the little child. I was like, he's killed a robot. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Your group's killed more than a few demons, Tuhan. See? He, he like, looks at Tiz. Even they agree not with good a better people. choice. Or not, not demons. I know what you did in the Unity War. He, like, looks at you, that sort of smug expression on his face very slightly falling. And then he says, We're mercenaries. We fight where we're hired to. And we're a union. We take We work together. <laughs> yeah. So that means you can be bought by the highest bidder, yeah? Now, now, Tiz says. <laughs> Tiz says this, the vultures. We should probably wait to have this discussion until uh, they get here. And he, like, nods. And you can see in the distance a rowboat from the, the docked ship is on its way over here. Fairly, somewhat slowly, so you definitely don't have to listen to him. And you can, you can keep on arguing. Um... How much they pay you? Just we're just gonna keep yelling insults at the silver band. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep yelling insults. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Hicks does the same thing. He he gloms on to like your paid to fight argument of you fought for the empire. You didn't just lay down your swords. All right, traitor bastard. Do you use this as a setup action. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think that's probably the best bet. Class tra- of, of, <laughs> the silver nails class traders is a set yeah, of rile actions. them up and and yeah yeah i'm totally down to make that a group setup action too okay yeah. i i yeah i would i would suggest doing so all right i'm actually busy surveying to see if they've got any people hiding around the corners or how heavily mm. armed they are yeah, okay that's fine yep, yep. That's sure. let's teamwork do sway. the teamwork sway first and then the survey teamwork i can do sway i'm good at sway I think I this is way. This is you're not commanding them to do anything. Yeah, we're just trying to like poke them. Exactly, you're trying to manipulate them into, into. We're also we're also specifically manipulating the vultures too to see that... hopefully see them in a worse light if any of them are scholar yeah. like depending on how they see this. Or yeah, yep. So this okay. is uh, controlled. Oh, it's risky because we start in a risky Stop position. Stop saying yep. higher numbers. <laughs> this is risky. You guys are in the lost district, and you're kind of making a bunch of noise. And these guys are known for, you know, not they're not known for being brutal. Yeah, um, with an extreme effect? <laughs> no. No. I think this will be limited effect. Uh, these guys are have seen the horrors that are out here, and a couple people throwing insults at them. It's not likely to really get them. I'm down to push that to desperate. Um, 
I'm not. <laughs> oh, like I'm not. I mean, especially for I, a setup action. No, wait. Do we? Is effect better? It's a setup action. Oh yeah, it's a setup. You're right. No. It is a setup. Doesn't matter. We'll it's see how effect. We'll see how effective it is when it happens. Yeah, Maybe yeah, they're like, like no, you don't understand what I've been through. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. So <laughs> effect doesn't matter. Yeah. Yep. Who's leading this? Just so we know. Oh, Hicks. I had okay. Hicks can lead it. Okay. okay. If the, if yelling it that's a nerds. six for me nice and a crit <laughs> wait it's a setup i don't think it matters it's a setup oh that would it oh yeah uh, whatever we crit you you, you crit anyways yay, yay. that's three crits crit. this session that's unheard of for us three crits uh, in a session and literally none of them have actually had a mechanical effect oh hold on setup <laughs> it might let me see 135 yes Check. I will check. While yeah. we discuss that, uh, while you figure that out, Adric, you're looking around. I'm looking around. I want to see how well armed are these guys? Are there any people, you know, hiding in a base? Okay. Uh, are you physically poking around? Or are you... We're still out on the boat, aren't we? No, you guys have landed. You're on the shore now. You're on a beach. Okay, if that's a the case... gray-sanded, then... horrible beach. Like the beach out of... Kingdom Hearts 3, the, 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 like, world of darkness. No, I'm not going to be leaving unless I need to push it to Desperate. I'm going to stick with these guys. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so setup literally doesn't matter. <laughs> cool. Three crits yep. that don't matter. No. Yep. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because all it does is increase effect or improve position, and then, like, the rest of it's, like, talking about how to do setups like a clever way to do setups is this okay yeah so i just need position and effect i don't think i'm going to make this a very complicated role so this is risky um and i think your effect here will be limited you have ghost hunter uh i don't have you've ghost, ghost fighter, fighter which is not okay you, yeah limited then I have Ghost Hunter. If I help, can my bird help? What does the description of Ghost Hunter do? Does it also, like, is it is it when you specifically roll it? Your it gains potency. Yeah. Okay, then yes. That, if you help one stress, the bonus die, and then also you give this over, that would also yeah. give a uh, standard effect. Yep. Okay, so risky, standard, I can expect that help, and another bonus die? The help die, yeah. Yeah, the help. The help gives you the potency. Beautiful. And the die. Shot. Okay, not the worst. Okay. Um, so, you notice two things. One, um, there is off in the distance but not far enough away that it's not a threat. There is some kind of ghostly presence of some kind. Maybe it's supernatural. It's it's hard to see exactly what type of it is. Out here, there's more than just ghosts and demons. There are also other weird monstrosities. Something is nearby, deeper in the district itself, off of the shore, and it is aware of you and watching and, and listening. It, it's hard to tell how dangerous it is, but it's it's off of there. Um, you know the direction of it, but I don't think you can't see it physically. It's just the, the bird senses that. And also, underneath the rowboat that is on its way here, the one that the vultures, presumably leader, is riding in, are several dark shapes. Ah. Our friends came along. Um... When your bird sees them, it doesn't see them clearly, but they aren't demons. But there is still some kind of supernatural signature, but it's you've never seen it like this before. It's weak. So it might not be Leviathans. That is that is what you can tell. Um, it I know it feels like, I hope it doesn't feel like limited effect, but yeah, there's two things and they're both very hidden. Um, and but you see them, you you clearly know around where they are, but they're both obscured, so you don't know what yeah. they are. I think and the, the first things I was looking for, like I can't tell, are these people geared for war or treachery? 
the oh um the silver nails no the are they're geared for war yes they don't look especially tense more than you should be in a place like this at least um you don't get the impression that they intend to just attack either of you guys doesn't mean they won't if things come to that okay so yeah. um i think that uh yeah the the you get the setup action so i think you get them pretty i think angry uh and eventually the man known as tuhan says listen you'll never know what me and my soldiers go through every day in the hell like this and i think he just starts yelling at you for a bit um and like this the the vultures realize this that he, he gets a bit heated <laughs> heated but like a more he's more charismatic about it but he basically does the whole like you'll never know what i've been through kind of thing um someone sounds like a sore winner and uh yeah tiz can't help tiz stifles a chuckle as best he can when you say that the boat arrives uh and gets offshore probably like right in front of you guys and you see uh the vultures who you have met with before definitely um you, you see krella krella is they're they wear a uh mask at all times um like a spirit mask um and they are very obviously and even people who even hear rumors like the, though the leader is a whisper of some kind and they they you're muted indigo had we met her before too or at least I... why does everyone have wizards sorry my keyboard's <laughs> loud so i mute it when i type <laughs> okay now she is a whisper um, everyone has wizards but us <laughs> I mean, you could do a job to find a gang of whispers or find a specialist yeah, whisper. It's all coming up right now for, like, wizard stuff. And it's... That's fair. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if they're clearly gendered. I'd say they're more... They more feel androgynous. Um, yeah, I'm assuming also there's a bit of a... How, how, how much is the buy-in to the vulture theming? Not actually a lot. They none of them are dressed like birds or things like that. Oh, uh, they don't even have like a cloak with feathers on it. Not if they're no. Um, I thought that was my way in, guys. I gotta back out now. <laughs> the Cape Crusader, like you could you could pull out your Cape Crusader like uh, guild card. It's like yeah, I get it. Yeah. Part of the masked vigilante club too. <laughs> yeah. No, sadly, she wears a spirit mask. It probably looks slightly more bird like actually, but that's probably all that you see in terms yeah. of their visage and they're just wearing like practical clothes beyond that yeah yeah lots of them have like oil slick leathers things like that um, when the boat hits the shore and gets out the shadows underneath it um probably about six of them um stop probably 10 feet out from shore and they're just sitting there um, the, I think Krella introduces themselves. They say, in a voice that even itself I think is is not clearly Fire. male or female. It's 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 it could be like it, it it's not a big deal, but that it's yeah. even by their voice are non not obviously gendered. And they say, "I am Krella. It is nice to meet you. I didn't expect some." more guests and uh tuhan says yes we thought we would offer our services to you vultures instead of unseasoned soldiers Rella nods at this and says i see well this is a good opportunity she looks... What, what our more militant friends have they. failed to admit. 
is that this is not necessarily a deal where you buy something from us. It's not, we're not offering a product. We're operating, we're offering a direction and a plan where they're offering a one-time solution to a one-time problem. Don't let this show of force fool you. I have simply come to bully you out of your money instead of working together as we propose. The vultures and myself value our independence. It would cost us a great deal to lose it. What do you offer in return, Union? Oh, we're getting right into this? We're not oh. going to fuck around and like drink a bottle of rum first? Okay. <laughs> are, are we negotiating here? We're in the Lost District. We, we got, do like, not a have something? time or the luxury All right. of All right, drinking. Fine. Pretty straightforward. Um, the demons... And our and our union of bomb distributors have come to an accord on the matter of the waterways, and there's an easy way to include include the vultures without eliminating or diminishing your work. Simply register as members of the union and gain access to all of its benefits. <laughs> That's what Too Hard just laughs and he says, You're consorting with demons now. That's better than fighting them. No wonder the spirit wardens want your they heads. Claws. And I got flesh. <laughs> I don't believe it. You don't should... believe that I have flesh? <laughs> Listen, Krella, if you hire us, we shall slay the demons ourselves. You would not have to worry about deals with them. I, you know the stories. No demonic deals. My apologies. Your whisper. You know better than I. How many other people have you given this offer to? How many times are you trying to get paid for the same bit of work that you still haven't managed to achieve? The child has a good point. <laughs> None, if you have to know. We're out here in the Lost District clearing it up and making it safe. Now I've heard there are demons in our own canals. The spirit oh, wardens really? are also asking for our services. Spirit wardens have made some poor choices in their areas of focus as a fleet. Yes, they mysteriously rescinded their offer. Do you think if the spirit wardens couldn't handle the demons in the water, a bunch of mercs could do it? Yes. Spirit wardens are... not... the same as us. They... have infrastructure. They're not the same. They're more powerful than you are. <laughs> Statistically speaking, yes. Statistically <laughs> speaking, no. Actually, they used to be, and they still couldn't handle the demons. <laughs> yeah, we, we knocked them down. Peg. Yeah, Silvernail say have, the spirit have the wardens power. have been ghost babysitting for centuries. They have never had to deal really with something like this. We, this is our every day dealing with these demons, ghosts. And unnamed horrors. Yeah, sounds like a Thursday for us too. Yeah. Or have you not been paying attention to all the things blowing up in the city? Yeah. Stuff goes <laughs> boom. Stuff okay. is dangerous. <laughs> I think it's, let's have, uh, almost sounds like a teamwork yeah. sway. Teamwork sway. Sway the vultures to your side. <laughs> teamwork sway. So, uh, I so, have a question real quick. Yes. What is this one? This just says silver nails. Yes, I was mean? leaving that. I, I was leaving that blank. To see how this went off. Um, I think we should phrase it the silver nails app, and we can decide what that action. Depending is on the, the last thing that clock. fills it, <laughs> we could decide what act looks like at the end of the clock. But the silver cool. nails act, <laughs> and then uh, the let's call it 
Observer acts. See, this is a mean clock. We don't know who this observer is, and you're just adding paranoia. <laughs> I mean, yep. there's a good chance it's fucking Satara, and I'm not in Probably but... <laughs> um, um, we, we need a vultures join the union clock too, as long as we have. A yes, you're right. <laughs> I'm actually. Unless gonna... you want to. So that clock is like the the swingy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All of the clocks are negative right now. I want a clock I can work work on positively. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm thinking now. Because um, these are the two separate things that are not directly. So, so I think it'll be one is this. We're going to, let's just, instead of having it be back and forth, we're going to have it be whoever fills it the fastest. So the vultures, Jews, Union, and the vultures, two silver nails. Both are six o'clock. Makes sense. We started in a middle position. Yep. So let's see that sway roll. Or the group's oh, way, teamwork's can way. I just give help to someone as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, you don't have to participate. Because, um, I sway is not going to help anyone. How right, do you I'll... help? Because I don't know if you mentioned something specifically yet, if, if Adric talked. No, I might have missed Adric it. mentioned. Okay. Then I At the it. beginning, yeah. Indigo, what were you saying? Uh, who's leading? I still only... I only have one stress now, is why I'm I saying, only have like... one stress now, too. Okay. Uh, so, you can go either way. Alright. I love the last one. You can leave this one. Well... Okay. I, do you want me to lead it? Yeah, I led the last one. If you also yeah. have one stress, go for it. Yeah, I I'll lead it. When, it. when it comes down to it, I, we should probably go by who has the least amount of stress of these two. Yeah. Four. Who is Adric helping? Yeah. Whoever has the least amount of dice, take one from me. I have two. I have two as well. Go ahead, and since you're leading, take the extra die. Okay. Okay. Um, now, the setup position... could be used here to increase the effect for all of you guys or grant all of you guys plus one die. But I don't this think it's per. It's yeah. you, you guys pick and discuss. I think it's the effect we want here. Yeah, I think yeah. it's effect. Right now, with this is risky and limited before the setup, um, because I think the silver nails have quite a good case. I could we I'll counter their case after. Yeah. Oh no, we don't need to counter their case. We need to prove. We this is you countering their case. It. I think. Yeah. I think yeah. the next. We, we're gonna make this rule as is for like I think we should use the setup here of us belittling the silver nails earlier to prove our point. Basically, to diminish yeah. the nails. We'll use mm. the setup now, but for the next volley, we yeah. need to break out our spray can of demon goop, demon goop, to get us really. We have the technological advantage over these monsters. Yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah. you call you order yeah. one right yeah. now. We'll send you an extra one for free. Yeah. Things like that. So sway. Uh, yeah, sway. Risky. Position. Oh, risky. Now standard. Now it's standard yeah. since it's cool. been upped. And then I get the bonus die. Whoop. Yep. I got a five. Oh! <laughs> just, just a crit. It's only crits. No. Only no. crits all day. So that means that we're straight up to five out of six. This might be a very fast score. Oh, the silver um, oh my. Uh, yeah. Mm. Can we toss him some money at the end of that and just fill the damn clock? <laughs> the score. Normally, I would say yes. This time, I don't. This isn't about money, is what you're holding. No, your this is about is. like protection, yeah, our, our independence. It's more about like working together, collective action. We need to fight everything head on. Yeah. Actually, I hate to do this, but I think a, wouldn't a crit on a standard just up the effect to a uh, great, which would be three ticks? No, uh, standard. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Still good. Mix so, it up with yeah. uh, long term progress. With like, yeah. Okay, three ticks. So that's half the, tip, half the clock. That's still half the clock. Yeah. Um, let me switch us over to this where they can see the clocks, and um, Krella. I think after you guys are both done, just as like raises her hand because I don't think you guys are gonna stop and argue with each other. She says, "Enough." Do the silver nails roll though? No, they don't roll. Um, it'll just be if you fail, they will. It'll go on their clock. Go on okay. Their clock. Failures are a fair clock. Okay. Yes. So I was just wondering if they mm -hmm. rolled like separately. Yep. Um. Tuhan. 
You interrupted our meeting. Your people are skilled, but not what we're looking for. We're not trying to kill the demons. That would only get them more in our ire. That's what the Spirit Wardens tried. We just want to do our business in peace. Tuhan, I think, says, Well, I apologize for the misunderstanding. I just wasn't aware of that, given the fact that the faces of these people are plastered all over the city right now. With all due respect, I... We... And, like, he has some people backing him up who nod and agree. We think that if you deal business with these, this union, people will come after you. There are rumors that some people in the... of the Scovland refugees and revolutionaries are disappearing. And how many of us have you seen disappeared? As I've said before, we take care of our own. None. And that, quite possibly, might be nothing. But it also might be suspicious. I'm not saying anything. I don't know anything. Are you, are you implying that we are kidnapping the little man and belittling those who only want to... I'm saying I don't know you and I don't trust you, so I'm not taking it off the table. If you care to know us, our manifesto has been made public. <laughs> our souls are clear. <laughs> you and your mercenary ways, your goals are clear too, just in that of your pockets. <laughs> and... But to some degree, the vultures do. We've been spending time with them. Have you? We've been spending time out here, making the world a better place for humanity. Humanity or the Empire? It's a different subject. We're in the Empire. Right now, as unfortunate as it may seem, those are almost always the same. All we're and trying to do... Work to make it better. For everyone, we not just are. The Look around you. This district, this horrible place. We're trying to make it livable again, and we're succeeding. Why not, why not work inside the fence? Take down the corrupt system. We're mercenaries. Exactly. And we know our role. Can All pay, 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 pay. we can do is fight and. When you fight the Empire, you saw what happened to the Scovs. They're still fighting. They stand and with us. they are losing. And they aren't making things better for humanity. They're only making things more difficult for themselves. <coughs> we are here making it so in ten years' time, maybe less... There will be a lightning wall surrounding here. There will be children playing in the streets. A safe beach for people to happily spend leisure time on instead of it being filled with docks and busyness and ships because of the cramped space. So, Hicks is tired of this uh, <laughs> advertising pitch and turns to the... What's her name? Acrella. Leader. Acrella? Yeah. What's their sorry, what's their name? Uh Her the name, vulture yeah. leader. And Hicks turns to them and says, While our armor clad companions may speak of the future and they may speak of the prosperity they hope to have, if only someone would pay them to do it. We have a practical solution for your protection. Even if our deal falls through, even if the demons turn on us as a collective, we are still ready. <laughs> We have, by our dear inventor, <laughs> come up with our own solution for defensive action against demonic forces. 
that can be applied easily and effectively to men, to ships, to cargo. <laughs> the gesture grind to present your science fair project. <laughs> yep, and it just reaches into his coat. Ooh, it's a demon. The table. It, what you do is you take demons, you squish them down into a juice. <laughs> You take giant flightless demon birds and you squish them into a juice and you spray that juice. <laughs> yeah, demon pheromones. Demons always stay away from other demon pheromones. It's 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 how you know it's their territory. Okay. You just gotta juice the biggest, nastiest demon. That's what it is. <laughs> yep. Start a demon farm. <laughs> so Brian, you are you are being uh I guess my question actually, Hicks, do you want to set Grine up? It seems like yeah. you're almost doing. Yeah, I'm trying to set Grine up. I'm trying to drive the focus away from this petty argument of who's better for the world to a yeah. more practical argument of who's ready for this shit because we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, then this is literally a setup. Um, yeah. I think this, well, I mean, you're in the Lost District. Basically, everything will always be risky or worse. Even if you would be in controlled socially, it still gets too risky. This still seems pretty sway. Yes, it is. I'm swaying with logic. Yep, and effect doesn't matter because it's a setup. Yep, this is risky. Um, I could put one tick on the Observer Axe Clock if you want that was bargain. How, I'm trying to figure out how I could push it to Desperate. I don't, the Desperate doesn't get us anything, so it's not worth it. Yeah, desperate won't be a greater effect in this case because it's just yeah. So it's not yeah. worth it. Um, I don't think I want the, the observer uh, axe, um, mostly because I don't know how that's relevant. I don't know if, who if we don't even know who it is. Yeah, it is whatever. It's it's the thing listening from deeper inside. The um, district. I think so. I think yes, because this is the unveiling of something that might upset that thing. Okay. So I think I will take the observer tips. All right. Tick. Excellent. Singular. Yeah. Just because it seems thematically appropriate, because this is about to be the unveiling of this. Okay. It it gets more than just more than just the vulture's attention. Yes. It's true. Five. Five. All right. So, setup is good. Uh, right. You have the setup. But I think uh, that uh, whatever is happening now, I think the silver nails are getting, getting, getting a bit closer to acting on what they hear here. They Their ears and eyes perk up when they hear about this, like product of some kind so they're definitely paying attention all right so first thing i want to do is a quick flashback to grind just taking some pills that'll clear his head a little bit you know treating yourself yep okay one <laughs> stress is, is fine for that flashback Take some hill hills hitting it a really big bong something like that something to clear his head just a little bit <laughs> yeah a really big bong. flashback yeah, to you okay, sipping some of your flask <laughs> well is, is it still uh does position still matter in that I it doesn't define anything like okay. I thought it was still like a regular it's just old a tinker roll. Roll. It, it is roll. a uh, yeah. It's a tinker roll to allow your patient to ignore harm penalty for an hour or two. Okay. So, um, I, yeah. I figure position and effect. I mean, we can define them after the roll. That's fine because it doesn't really change what I do. That's fine. Uh, obviously, effect wouldn't matter because it's a specific effect. It's just yeah. position here. Um. So I think, oh, I didn't realize I still have these two clocks up here. If effect, clocks. Doesn't matter, doesn't if it's a f effect if wouldn't matter because the uh, ability says specifically what the effect is. That's why it doesn't yeah. matter. But position yeah. does matter still. Um, I think position would be controlled because it's a flashback. Yeah. Um, I think... I think I'm going to do one tick on the Observer Axe Clock. Maybe, it can, maybe, maybe if, if it's a kind that smells blood, it can still smell a hint of injury on frankly most of you are injured 
Yeah. My injury is still my allergic, my ongoing battle with my allergies <laughs> from hand cream. <laughs> yep. Okay, so yeah, what can I do here? Honestly, I think the best way to handle this is explain to them exactly how this thing works. I'm going to use Tinker. And let's do okay. like techno babble. Yeah. Techno babble your way through this. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, this is still risky, but this actually has great effect. Nice. Because you're doing techno babble about demons to a whisper who understands the techno babble. Oh, there's even yeah. better reasons as to why, which they may uh, tell you after this roll. Now, yes. do I push that to desperate extreme? You don't need to. <laughs> you already fill the clock, but it's up to you. Yeah. No. How I'm much good. harm do you want to take? <laughs> yeah. Great effect on that. Don't forget the um, setup. Yep. I'm going to use the setup for an extra die. Cool. All right. Um, do you want a Devil's Bargain? I mean, I got four dice. Uh, I'll hear oh, it Spirit before Warden's I attack. just... Warden's. That clock is gone. Oh, um, that was the, the Devil's Bargain. I was like, what? Spirit Wardens? Where did they yeah. come from? Did no, they come from? <laughs> the Spirit Wardens <laughs> attack clock that was there is no longer relevant. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm what about one take on chanting ghost circle shenanigans as time has gone on? Where where are we at with that? E <laughs> <laughs> I don't like chanting I got, ghosts. You know I got four dice. I'm uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Can, can I, can, will you accept a helping die from your friendly neighborhood Phoenix man? Yeah, if you want to. Well, how, wait, wait. Rest. How are you going to help Detecto Babble? With a tuning to be like, yeah, I've attuned to this, and this shit is like good shit. Attuned to it. Oh, like you turn on your ma like turn on detect turn magic, on and ma you can see. <laughs> turn yeah. on, turn on detect magic. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. a whisper, right? Use your magic vision. You'll see how good it is, and we're not lying. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. That'll Boop. that'll that'll play. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> Fours are good. Oh, Fours are hard. enough, which is good. Um, I'm gonna. Ooh. So, how many good ticks do we get for a great effect? Three. It fills it. Three. Three. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, how many bad ticks do we get for a risky? Position? I'm thinking about anything think else that could happen, and I think. Yeah, you guys are not being attacked. No, I think you're good. I'll fill two in the, the silver nails in case something happens with them. Um, so, the um, Krella seems to nod and understand your alchemical babble perfectly and actually responds in kind and asks a few questions. And you get the distinct impression she is on the same level as you when it comes to alchemy. They know their shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is why they're very impressed and why it was great. Because they're like, oh, yeah, no, that does work. Um, I see we are kindred spirits. Uh, I, yes. I think this speaks highly of our ability to work together. I agree. Okay. To Han, thank you for the offer. If we need mercenaries, we will contact you. But in this instance, we do not need your services. And Tuhan's face is just, like, sour, but trying not to be, but failing. Kindly fuck off. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Get fucking nailed, bitch. <laughs> Tuhan is like, I understand, Krella. He, he shoots you a glare grind, like... And then... And then he bows to her slightly, and... He says, I hope we do business in the future. Brian. How much for that formula? This We're out here fighting uh, demons. This is proprietary of the union. Care, you like to join. All our members. Got some forms. We are mercenaries. We're not willing to join. You're not and willing I'm to not the one who... You're not willing to do fair work and I'm not in charge of our organization. 
I don't make I those decisions. But I am willing to buy that bottle for one coin. <laughs> Wow. That's what I, I have on me right now. Great cheat. It's like reaches of the other pocket. It's like you may pass this along if you need our services, and it's our menu, which does not include did, demon spray. Did any of the silver's nails look like they uh, understood the techno babble? No. Okay. They're mercenaries. They're, they're they don't have they're scientists. Meaties. They're meathead demon slaying jocks. They, they just want to go fight the dragon. They don't care. I. Krilla, we would. Uh, we would like to uh, establish a better relationship before revealing anything uh, that. Uh, any intellectual properties that belong to the Union. Uh, perhaps if we were to work together uh, and build a trust. Come join me on my boat. She like gestures to her boat. There's two other, there, there were two other visible like guards with her, but um, if you don't bring your gang, you guys can fit on that one boat. There are other boats, but she gestured to that one. Sorry. I'm letting know about what's underneath the boat before we actually get onto it. Oh, you you mentioned the the dark the shadows. Spot the Don't mention it to anyone. So, but yeah, no, if they're if the silver nails are not there and not able to overhear, I will say, by the way, there's you know, something under your boat. I don't know if you know what it is. It's watching. spooky. You can't see her face, but she says, that's nothing to worry about. Ah, so I see you have some secrets of your own. Don't we all? Um, as you are, this will, the end of the score will be you heading to the boat. The score is, is, is successful. Um, it will be post-score discussion of, of what to do with her on the boat. Yeah. But as you're leaving, Tu Han says, like, Brian, all of you, people will die here, my people, if we don't have that formula. You didn't know it existed. Yes. Until, like, four and we can ago, save lives with it. As I've told, what do you, uh, what is your boat cost? Boat. And I will bring it to my leader. It's not on there. It's intellectual property that belongs to the Union. Then I don't... I I, okay, then forget the formula. What is it for the bottle? Or a bottle? I thought you were big, bad demon slayers. Uh, we are. We haven't figured out the manufacture process. We have not mass-manufactured this product yet. We have a small supply for union use and protection. When it's made available as a product, you'll be the first on our, on, on our mailing list. Yeah, we will be offering this uh, as a uh, saleable item in the future. Why don't you uh, come by and talk to us? We could perhaps uh, set up a, a sales agreement. Patrick is very confused as to why we're not selling this right away. He's Make a sway. Ooh, I think this is sway. Because, him because to... if I don't give it to them now, we can sell a lot to them later. Yeah, we can sell like a patch. <laughs> we can organize a patch order. Yeah. <laughs> We've dangled the carrot, and we're yes. leading it away. <laughs> and now leading it away will be, and, and having them be okay with that will be the yeah. last yeah. probably roll of the score. Yeah. This is risky. So what, what are we rolling here? Uh, sway to get them to back off of the... Want to group this? I'll lead. Yeah, I'll, we'll group uh, this. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. That's sales not... pitch hard hard to get sales pitch yeah, Playing hard to yeah. Get, it's, it's exclusive it's exclusive union no, yeah. only exclusivity that's that's the key yeah here. first it's of its kind it's pre-order now yeah By contract only but i think like <laughs> the way i'm helping is i'm saying like you guys are big bad demon hunters i thought you were gonna do this all on your own right like <laughs> to take it as an image hit to them like we don't we don't need it that badly we can get it later that kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Risky standard. Risky standard. We'll back off. I'll roll first. Oh, I'm just oh. no. five, 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 five. Five. Crit again! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we'll be seeing them next Monday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, they, they actually like... Okay, where like where do you want to meet? I'll make sure we can do it next week. I think you already have 
a like, buyer. We, you already have a score set up to sell it to them. Oh, yeah, afterwards. we have a sales score lined up real quick. <laughs> yep. Our first sales score ever. <laughs> uh, it only got out of the flag lock. Uh, was it full? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to do a supply job to go get rare ingredients to mask <laughs> any <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's our that was our point getting the vultures. Yeah, okay. So now we know what we're gonna ask the vultures to help us with getting some demon juice. Yep. So, so. I think uh, yeah, the silver nails finally uh leave after getting a confirmed meeting date with you guys yeah, for so. later. Does that mean they're not gonna come away from this like sour pusses? Correct. Like, they're gonna be like, uh, oh, they're also gonna... you don't I was probably gonna give you a minus one with them, but nope, not anymore. Yeah. They know they can't be enemies with us. Yeah, <laughs> they need to buy from you. They know they're not up. It's not that they're not upset with us. It's just they know they can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So they, yeah, they leave, um, and you guys are allowed on the serpent. The serpent is not a large boat. It's no leviathan hunter ship. That's that. It, it's a a. Um, it's it's still definitely big enough to hold all of you. Um, yeah. And. Uh, I think, I guess I'll leave it to you guys. Do you want to talk while the ship is still anchored? Or do you want to talk while the ship, like, raises anchor and sails around and you're here for a while? I think it's going to have I mean, to be a long conversation because it's talking about how, because we can summarize it, like, as, as plans, Yeah, but it'll but probably actual... be, like, overnight like or something or like or hours a long negotiation of how to incorporate the vultures into the union in a way that keeps as much autonomy for them as possible exactly while being connected to us in a literal sense as that they are literally part okay. of the union otherwise our demon deal doesn't flow yeah. so when they raise anchor they're like okay they raise anchor um and then probably about 30 seconds as the anchor basically starts raising 30 seconds after they she calls out to raise anchor um some of the people are still on the shore but it looks like they're getting on the other boats and they're doing their own thing like they are handling it um six sopping wet individuals climb up over the side of the boat that you came from on like ropes and stuff like that it's a, it's a tall enough boat that um, but yeah. Hmm. Are they given ghosty vibes? The frogmen? They don't, they look normal. They are giving those ghosty vibes. The, the same ones as the people who were underwater before. Scuba yes. whispers. Scuba <laughs> whispers. <laughs> oh my god, underwater whisperers. <laughs> There's a reason yeah, they don't the want to, they don't like the water deep. demons. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, you're, you're led oh. into the, uh, I mean, they... <laughs> that's that's the cohort name for them. It's SEAL Team Six Six Six. Uh, okay, um, so we'll end the score there, and let's see yeah. how it happens, and then we'll talk about what they're because this isn't pure. They 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 do actually have one strong request of you, mm -hmm. but we'll get to that. Which was. Which is yeah. help them on their existing score that they're almost done prepping for, oh. which will also help you with supply. That's listen. Yeah, that's a that's a win win, baby. Two birds, one stone. Yeah. What's the, yeah, what's we're the gonna, job? I'll tell you after. Just, yeah, we're gonna. They they have a job lined up that they're already committed to. Um, I'm assuming they don't want to be like our hand and foot like waiting goons. That is very much correct. Um, so Krella now opens gonna... up and tells you that they, she, the vultures broke off from the gondoliers because of effectively another version of that. The, that their hierarchy is very rigid and very, at, at, at certain levels, can get like that. And so they, yeah. she was sick of it. Yeah. Well, well they we do not have the same rigid hierarchy as the gondoliers. You will be an adjunct organization. Who may be called upon for specific tasks on a not so regular basis. You'll be so, in team meetings if you are in the area. I see. And any yeah, representative you elect will have a voice 
in the union. All members have a voice, but you know, representative for meetings is, is great. Yeah. If you want to be on like your boat, you can have someone like at the main HQ to be yeah. like your voice. I'll talk to Tiz. Yeah. See if he wants to. Yeah, we won't call on you on a weekly basis, but with prior notice, we may ask for assistance on more specific tasks. Basically, we'll call the, call on them for a score, not for downtime actions, compared to, like, our other goons. Yeah, and in, and in the background, they can just be, like, you know, the people that get shit from one place to another, you know? Yeah, their, their, exactly. primary, their primary function would be an ongoing contract with the union to move our goods. Yes. Or, um, like, get supplies in from us. Yeah, yeah smuggling like, supplies, uh, steal to steal supplies from other uh, other people is was yeah. is actually how they they get their main income. Yeah, so, so you know they're effectively they're a water based shift. thieves guild for that work yeah, for you. They're gonna start. Their their targets might might have to shift from criminals to the government, but we can make that adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> can I yep. ask what's up with the ghosty vibes? They're whispers. No, yeah. it's not that. Not just oh, that they're whispers. I'm full on asking what's up. Oh, you what's asked up with okay. the carbon? <laughs> just we have a few alchemical secrets of our own. I'll give you one secret for one of yours. Let's see how this goes. All right. It's a good secret. It's a uh, one tick away clock secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I mean, if you said that, she'd be like, "You tell her," and she's like, "Who?" Yeah, <laughs> it's like the Flash taking his mask off. I have no idea who this is. Who this is? <laughs> Isn't that when like Lex? That's like when Lex Luthor body? was mind controlling the Flash, and then had no idea who he was. It's, it's great. Yeah. Um. Okay. End of score. Post score stuff. We are. Do we get any coin yeah. from this? At least yeah. two. It's a social score. It is a social <laughs> score. You guys get two. Um, uh, no, no. Vulture sign up union dues. Yeah, yeah, you also get those. I didn't think that was it. Um, there's no ongoing like, like yeah, they they work. Yeah, they're semi independent. You're effectively yeah. their biggest contract, their patron. In a yeah, way. but they are their biggest patron, and they are card carrying union members. That's true. As in, they literally have the card for the Fuse Rights Union that they are a yep. part of. So, um. There aren't a lot of them, as I said. There are probably 12 of them at most of the, they, the vultures. Uh... They're all very skilled, it looks like, but there's not, in terms of union dues, it's not a big haul. Um, yeah. So I think it's four coin. It's a coin well, total. That's good. It might be two coin. Yeah. No, I think four is fine. I think so four, six yeah. coin total? Yeah, six coin total. Um, do we get them as a? Yeah, what do they count as? Are they a gang of rooks? I will probably. I'm thinking if they would be a gang of rooks, or if they would just like. I don't know if you can order them around like other gangs. That's the thing. We could. We could make them like. Um... We could put it in the notes. Like, I'm assuming there'd be specific rules for them, which is why I'm kind oh. of. Independent, out. unreliable. Just give them those. Yeah, things. give them the. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so they'll be a gang. Yeah, I think dude, they will be the both. Adepts have that too. Yeah, okay, because that's... the adepts have independent, unreliable. Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. Um, yeah, and then cohorts. Seal team six 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 is a go. <laughs> they will both be skulks. Like they're more than a normal gang. They actually were both skulks and rovers. Ooh, skulks and they... rovers. Yeah, because they're. You know, sailor thieves. One is rovers yeah. are sailors and skulks are thieves. I can't spell skulks. Uh, uh, SKML. Uh, we're both yes. typing the same thing. It's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Um, cannot be called up. No downtime actions. And yeah. also, yeah, I have to remember that about the. Uh... Yeah. We could just put that in for them as, like, not for downtime. Like we could bring them in on jobs, but not yeah. on downtime. I mean, I could. I'll just probably do a fortune roll to see if they're available. Oh, yeah, for any of them who are unreliable, I'll do a fortune roll. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah. But I just put a specific note on vultures, not for downtime actions, because the other two we've been using for downtime actions. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, pay off a rep. Two rep plus one per tier higher. The silver nails are tier three, and you guys are tier two, so you get three rep. Nice. Um, eat. None? I think it might be none. Yeah. Um, Silver Nails have reason not to tell anyone because they want to meet with you guys, and they're the only ones who yeah. could tell anyone. So it's zero heat. Went nice. smooth, went quiet, everything was perfect, multiple grits. Yeah. No shots yeah. were fired. Exactly. Easy peasy. No one died? Yep. We're so good at this. So, uh... Let's do entanglements first, and then before downtime, I'll tell you what, uh, what the next score that she has lined up is. In mind, yeah. Yep. yeah well, oh, we change some faction stuff on that? Oh, we yeah. Will end up yeah. Um, so, we're not going to go... Well, I mean, yeah, okay, let's go straight up to th to level three. Just three with vultures? Yeah. Or are um, they not a faction? They are a faction. I think they're a faction still, but depending, they might stop being a faction soon. Yeah, they might. We've closed the ties close enough where they're still technically a faction, but they're a faction we can like call in. Exactly. But we can call in any faction, but it's a matter of they're almost four in how tied they are to us, not just three. We're not. It's yeah, yeah. They're a part. They're a member of the union. They're doing their own thing, but they are the union colon the vultures. Yeah. yeah. Fuse rights union, union vulture division. Something dumb like that. Exactly. Cool. Um, so. Silver Nails. Uh, <laughs> Silver Nails is. Fish Rescue presents the vultures. Silver Nails are fine, actually. Uh, Silver yeah, Nails, because they want to get on your good side to buy your product, they are perfectly not at. They're at zero, they're staying neutral. They would be at minus yeah. one if, it, if they didn't want Yeah, I, otherwise, I think it's like we pissed them off too much to be a positive, but zero yeah. seems fair. Yep, with that crit at the end. Anything else? The spirit wardens? Like no one else knew. Um, yes. Well, what was, what was that thing? The observer. Do we know what that is? You never no. found out. It's not and focused, it doesn't seem to affect the factions right now. Okay. Yep. As long as that demons thing doesn't tick down, I'm good. I'm... <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the number we're paying attention to. Yeah. Yep. No, these are all good now. And then spirit wardens tick down, right? Yeah, it goes to minus one from minus two. Yes. Okay. So they're just gonna go to neutral because of our deal. Yeah, they won't go above neutral, okay. but they will go to yeah. neutral. Yeah. Well, I think we can get them above. We don't really want to. Uh, yeah. What I mean is they won't automatically go above. Neutral. Yeah, yeah. It would take work. To get them above. Which seems like a weird thing to put work in, because we've got so long beating them up. Yeah. So okay, let's get on their good side. Yeah, let's Marissa, make this, this potential ally weaker and then make them our okay, ally. Okay, so everybody take a personal coin right now. Yeah. So overload. Have a full arm or full vaults. Nice. Because that can be an issue. Um Marissa, do you want to do entanglements? Because you rolled engagement. Oh right. This is, the, this is the, the bad story. part. Yeah. No, the... He is still two, so. Yep, two. Uh, yeah. But uh, we are two, three dice. Three. So three yeah, dice. Yeah, three. three dice. The first three of the dice. three tables. And this is just fortune again. Yeah, I don't think yeah, there's a tango yeah. roll. All right, three dice, fortune roll. Oh no! Just go through. Thank you. Five. Oh. Rivals are unquiet dead. We Ooh. just really like that one. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's been a very often. I think um, Marissa chooses. Yes. Yep. Yes. So it's either a neutral faction threatening us. Yep. Or that's what the crows did last spirit time. spirit starts screwing with us, too. Those spirits that have been hanging over our head, we've got Ulf, we've got the chanting ghost shenanigans. I just want the spirit stuff to break. I just want them gone. No, I just want to actually have to deal with them. And it's right yep. now that it feels like it would be the greater more hectic more problematic things no so this is this that. is the best thing in the world because it's acquire the services of a whisper 
We got one now. We have one. <laughs> it's like oh, we found. Oh, I would make a chimney. fortune roll for the whisper, but yes. Well, okay. uh, then I think I'm going to fill the chanting ghost shenanigans clock as part of that. That seems fair. Yeah. We'll address that next time. We yes. get back home, and <laughs> we'll see that when you get back home. Yep. While yep. on the boat, let me pull up that. Uh, so I have the details of this, which I already have this job prepped because it's awesome. Um, What's the score? The score is that Krella wants to rob a train. Yes, the score. Train, yeah. right. train robbery. I'm so about this. All right. So, um, yeah, no, they, they're already, uh, they have like the schedule for a shipment train in coming in from elsewhere in the empire um to come, like it's it's this big train uh filled with equipment some of the stuff is for the spirit warden some of the stuff is for the blue coats it's this like heavy militarily guarded train they were planning to get someone in to help soon anyways uh and you guys are perfect for this yeah. cool want to attack yeah. the government you want to get your supplies back How about these this is our job i'm yeah. going to make a fortune roll to see what they already know However, they're only yeah. tier one, so oh, they know squat. Tier. Um, oh, yeah, no, they're only tier one. <clears throat> so yeah, they, they they're telling us what they know. Exactly. This yeah. isn't what you know. This is just what they know already. Um, so they know what everyone knows. Basically, they know what the rail jacks and the rail jacks are, are the train conductors and often the, those also who like guard the trains um, and make sure that they are that they, they arrive safely to and from planes. So they uh, have electro bikes. Yep. They have electroplates and magnetic boots to stand on the train. Oh, good. They're going to kill us. You're ready to <laughs> die with electropike. <laughs> uh, I have more information that I'm not going to tell you yet about that. Um, they they're only a tier point. two, by the way, so we can acquire some of their shit. Yeah. <laughs> we already have an electropike from the spirit world. Yeah, but yeah, we but you can get a magnet boots. Magnet, <laughs> magnet boots. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like okay. the downtime on the boat? You could take your downtime on the boat, yeah. It's between scores, but we can deal with that yes. next time. And no, you yeah, do not actually have the boat. to figure as an more asset. out about the the score, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I think we it's a good time to part. to stop now. But yeah, yeah. basically, we're going to rob everything we can out of that train. It's not even a oh, specific yeah. thing. It's just um, oh, train. actually, no. I think the plan was blow the. I think it was it blow the train track. Or yeah, I mean, that's the, train. the easiest thing. Blow I think it was the train tracks when it falls in the river. Yeah, and... it was wreck the train <laughs> and loot it. We're literally soloing it. That's what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> it's we're wrecking. We're get, we. I think it's. Oh uh, no, we're going to be on the train, not on the train track. That's also much safer, frankly. The train track would be dangerous because I'm guarded. So it'll be wreck the train or get it to stop over a certain area. That's water, or they'll have their boat waiting. Yeah, we'll load we'll everything the to it. Yeah, yeah. So stop we'll it over our water. Boat too. Yeah. Awesome. What I'm worry about is everyone who has um we're all really low stress right now, but if we go into the next without actually relieving our stress, uh we'll take as many never many traumas as we've got. So this yep. Try and is if out in This might be the thing, yeah. Okay. Uh let's do end of session. So crew first? Crew first. Crew first. Yeah. Um add we didn't go after nobility. Adric, didn't you? Did you get payback? Didn't get payback against Mercy at all. Uh, okay. Don't think so. Okay, no. so we'll skip those. Uh, acquire product supply as to execute Time. clandestine or covert sales or secure new territory. Time. <laughs> I think we did that. Uh, I think we have to do it. You don't we have the supply. You set up for the sales, that's for sure, but you don't do it yet. We set up for oh. the sales and for the acquire supply. And unfortunately, yeah. the you don't have any new territory from okay. this. Firstly, they don't have, like, any direct territory in general, but B, I don't know if you just get access to theirs. Yeah. But if, if it's secure new sales territory... I don't know, I'd still argue for it. Yeah, no, I don't think we gave XP for that. Next mm, time, yeah. they're suppliers more than buyers, so I don't That's think it's. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so contend with challenges above our current station. Yes. At least one. At least one. I Silver can't nails, think of any more. That... Silver nails. Um... As a crew, just silver nails. Yeah. We know. Okay. Bolster our crew's reputation? I think so. Yeah, I think we definitely bolstered it. 
which is probably like multiple times. times. Yeah. No, and for the people. And transparent. Yeah. 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 I mean, you literally said, yo, we made a deal with the demon. We're good. <laughs> I think that's yeah. two. Fair, fair enough. That's two. Um, goals, drives, and internal conflict, essential nature. I think one. Yeah, I think at least one. Yeah. Making yeah. friends. I mean, we turned the, the silver nails into a friend. Yeah. And yeah. I think for, um, like, once Adric came back, she's like, I can't talk to you guys anymore. Zade's like, all right, I'll figure it out myself and go after her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So, mastery? Are we getting mastery with this one? Because we just ticked over. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Mastery. Nice. Oh, Marker two. We did so well with the crits on this Mark, round. Mark, Mark two stash. Yep. Oh, that two stash. When three, we is it two or three? No, wait, it's three. It is no, three now, because you're now tier no, three. No, it's, it's four, right? Because we're tier two? Tier, yeah, it's four. Normally it's two, two plus, stash, it's tier plus, plus two. For every tier You're right. Up, so. You're right. It's four. Four, it's four stash. Four. Oh, I'm going to yeah, max my stash out pretty fast. <laughs> yep. You're welcome to withdraw from it. <laughs> you can retire. Or just like keep adding to it. And then like at best for stash, it's you have a small business. So if you just keep adding to it, you could just start defining <laughs> what better than that is. Yeah. What you what you can do is start a small business that does better than your dad's business and buy him out. Yes. yes. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'll need you and your family money, Dad. <laughs> I have my own money. That's great. So you start by putting up a bunch of warehouses all over Duskwall, right? Mm -hmm. And then you start, and then you invest in some kind of delivery system that can make deliveries within a day or two, <laughs> and suddenly you're Hicks Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Adric, XP. Okay. Uh, so nothing on vengeful there. Uh, violence or coercion? I didn't use a ton, but I think I would still take one for the negotiations with Mercy. I guess command wasn't exactly violence, but it was definitely... You addressed it. It's not even succeeding. I think, yeah, you tried to coerce her. Like, you, you did say, or at least imply, like, stuff. Yeah. Um, also, no, never mind. Keep going. Yeah, no. Heritage, I tried, at least uh, in the Hicks conversation at the beginning. The... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I don't... Sorry, I figured this out at around half time, and now I'm trying to figure out if anything else came up. Another belief would be when you specifically told the group don't look into the Hutton thing. For me. Could be a vice or trauma thing, but it's up to you. Yeah, I'll take that as belief, because honestly, I have definitely vice and traumas. The, that came up a bit. Um, trauma number one was the easiest, is making the deal to not tell you. Because mm -hmm. part of the reason I specifically did that was I'm dealing with Hutton. I don't trust the gang enough to actually be able to deal with me dealing with that. Um, so trauma there. And then I would say struggled with Vice because I really wasn't actually sure what to do with Hutton. I was wavering between killing him for himself. And it was not my natural inclination to go in there and chat with him. Uh, in as opposed to other versions, so I would take two on that. All right. There we go. Cool. X. All right. So, I didn't attack the government, and that's a problem, but we can address that next time. Or I did all my next time. <laughs> yeah. I did all my desperate actions. Um, I addressed at least one challenge with rhetoric. I didn't use destruction, so there's that. I expressed my beliefs and background as an academic and caring about stupid semantic arguments. Yeah, you... That was the whole thing with the silver nails. Yeah. Okay. And no issues, yeah. of course, with facial uh, traumas. Traumas are not, not, not my deal. I don't have any. <laughs> and my vice is cool, unlike um... Some other people's vices that cause problems. <laughs> yep. Your vice oh, creates opportunity. XP fountain. <laughs> All right. Grind. Uh, let's see here. Uh, challenge with technical skill or mayhem. Uh, at least one there for explaining things with Tinker. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think I really did anything else. No mayhem involved. Uh, so let's see. Beliefs mayhem drive heritage background. Session. I think a couple there. I mean, being able to, you know, converse with uh, what the hell was her name? The Krella. Yeah, Krella. With Krella, there, yeah. There and, yeah. Um, um, and with the stuff when you talked about Hutton. Yep. And I'm going to toss one in for um, my vice or traumas because that situation with Cersei would have gone way different if Grind gave a shit. <laughs> cool. Like, you guys would have been down one person for this score. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And Zaid. Um, I addressed a challenge with tracking or violence. I'm tracking down Mercy to commit violence, so I might get... I'll, I'll well, get definitely more one. later. Um, and then I think two for Belief Strides, Heritage, or Background. One for saying, like, hey, I fought these dudes in the Scovlin War. Mm-hmm. And then um, I think his belief, like, Zade still looks out for Adric, and he realized, oh, just letting him go murder people because Mercy tells him to? Not a good idea anymore because she's, like, cutting him off from us. So I'm going to go handle it. Okay. That's a good idea. And Vice of Traumas? I don't, I don't think I really hit Haunted um, because that, like, the same reason I could give for going out to, like... Yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah, it's one or the other. So it's it's more hits the belief rather than the trauma. Okay. So just three. Cool. That's everyone. We're yeah. done. Yeah. This was a good session. Train yeah. heist. Train oh, heist. Boy. We still have all of downtime to do first, but you know, then down. train heist. Yeah. yeah. There's no problem. So I I have a quick question. Okay. If you have a trauma and don't indulge your vice, it's just one stress if you have one trauma? Yes, it's yes. stress equal stress to number equal of traumas. equal to the amount of traumas, yeah. If you okay. don't indulge your vice. I'm good then. I only have two tr- stress. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? I am so looking forward to this score. I have prepped not a lot, but the things that I have prepped, it feels like we're this going to be a Mad Max-esque score. This is going to be a nightmare we're not ready for. <laughs> This will be great. It's gonna be so good. You got a taste of the Deathlands today, and it was the I'm quiet so part of the Deathlands. Now we're seeing what would be the version of a of like a that ridiculous sandstorm from Mad Max, but it's the Deathlands. It's the Death Miasma. Oh, the Death Miasma is not a storm. It's a co- it's a constant everywhere almost thing. Um, probably just like a regular ass storm. <laughs> Uh, like what if it's called a soul storm? That's for me to think a little later. It's like think about horrible regular post apocalyptic stuff and then add a like add ghosts. Just add, just add supernatural ghosts. elements as well. Yeah. Add just more ghosts the whole time. This would be fun. Okay. Um yeah. we are good yeah. for next week. Yeah. I should be good should for be. next week, yes. Yep. Okay. In uh three weeks one two three yes or three to four weeks on september 20th i'll no on september 27th a full month from now i will be unavailable myself and marissa okay. i think we're good before then yeah okay okay we'll be back see ya later Bye.